I want full G.I. Jane. I have an idea. So I'm just going to start tying. It's after I saw a dead fish. Which is kind of how I get a lot of my ideas. This is the back of a sheep. I got a bunch of partridge predator shanks that are made to tie. Like I'm, I don't even fucking know. On a, on a tube extension or something? But whatever. I just put them in the vise and straighten that little piece out. And mostly use them as tails, tail shanks, even though I know I'm, I'm behind the times because they make these. It's worth it. This is what happens when I start talking. The predator shank for intruder and other. Yeah, intruder is what I was thinking of. It's morning. I'm not. I'm not here yet. And other Waddington patterns. I think that's what they call game changes over the pond. <sighs> so sorry about that. It's going to be going sideways. Pliers. Nowhere to be found. I did not look very hard. Kid is ripping now.
I could be using like between one and three different very helpful non-complicating technologies but look I'm already I'm too far gone at this point so we're just gonna I'm going to be coming back over all those. Fuck. <laughs> be using hackle pliers, for example. Whatever, it's good enough. Do not ignore the rear. Pay attention to the tail. This just takes experimentation. I, I feel, well, I know since Blaine tied so many of these patterns on his own in development and just discovery and probably stumbling and falling onto his face a bunch and then coming up with a bunch of awesome shit. And I'm assuming some, some mediocre stuff along the way. Um, the conversation around tails and how that influences the rest of the swim is like, that's an entire, you, you just have to, you, you, you need to tie changers and, tie them with certain tails and then tie them with other tails and like go really long and then go super short. You see the mop tails and that, that would be super short and dense and has a, a really tight wobble in the back, but doesn't really do as much or that, that wobble. It's all part of a system. So when you, when you want to change how that system looks, you need to, as soon as you start tying, you have to do so with the end goal in mind. But it really, it changes. If, if I just went, you know, with like eight pieces of hackle that were a little longer, be more of the loose S swim versus the, the wobble. Who knows which one is going to be why a 32 inch trout eats this thing. Middle of the day, clear water. Just waving a white flag.
cans. There goes that one. And just have a carpet. I do have carpet in here. It helps to try to keep some of this stuff from going out into the hallway. It, it doesn't work, but One thing I found with tiny, tying the finesse changers, okay, Alice, try to say one thing. One thing I have found, <laughs> say one thing. On each including but not limited to, on each of these ties. Don't, don't go over, don't rush the eye. It, it's important for, you know, general fly tying, but something to remember and something I would routinely forget. And if you have a whip finisher and your hands are catching on your thread, use your whip finisher. I, I do think it's always worth it to when you're learning how to do these any material a lot of these changers because the, the material density and the different types of chenilles and all that they just they all take getting used to but to to treat them very methodically and do everything you know brush brush these out brush each section out it's not custom But then, as you become more comfortable, I think that, that experimentation starts to be the more important part. Which means that if you want to experiment with two flies, you can't be spending an hour and a half.
Should I look for the... Holy shit. Sounds like a rainforest out there. Fishy day. Fishy day. Fishy day yesterday. Place was just. I always wonder what people's perceptions. My, my perceptions of tailwaters were not what this is. I would consider this to be PG-13 or R, and I thought tailwaters were like PG or G, which I think for how a lot of people guide and fish them, they aren't. But man, they're not. Some wild stuff out there. What's your perception of the tailwater? Leave your thoughts in a comment. I'm not going to read it. <laughs> I probably, I probably will. <laughs> Something, the, this, the image of people disliking videos cracks me out because I just, I, I haven't, I haven't been doing this long enough to, um, well look, YouTube isn't my game. I, I like time flies. I, I was helped immensely by so many different videos. A lot of it was, you know, some of the, some of the Gallup stuff um, Josh Varner's videos, Gunner, uh, some Mad River stuff, guys at Schultz, um, God, just listening to Tommy speak his mind. But a lot of it was just, you know, in, inspiration of, I'm kind of like, I don't know, I, I don't have a, bef before I was guiding it's like i i didn't have uh, a fishing trip planned you know i was if i was going red fishing i'm all juiced up on tying saltwater patterns or you know a little learn learning about tying the tarpon toad or thinking of different scenarios am i fishing oysters am i fishing tailors in the grass um and so i just found that now as someone who is fishing all the time and tying all the time, I mean, make no mistake about it. Very much using this as a way to get get my audience, whoever that is or whatever that is. But yeah, the uh, God, the tangents, um, the likes and, and dislikes. <clears throat> so the, the dislike is funny to me because it means you either, you've watched the entire video and you're like, no. Not just that was okay, but you're like, fuck that shit. Or you didn't watch the whole video and you're just like, mm-mm. 
I don't even care. I don't care to see what the rest of this is that I might like. So for for those who are more invested in in the in YouTube as their I don't know in income or platform or whatever, it starts to I mean that that perception started to make perspective. Dude, I, I need I need coffee. That perspective started to make all of these like fast cut short attention span videos make more sense to me because you, I, I don't know what the ratings or you know SEO implications are in likes versus dis dislikes but you can't if you're trying to get the general public or, or I don't know fewer dislikes more likes you, you can't be risking just talking about nonsense for an hour and a half you gotta go highlights highlights only It's so f stupid that a piece of equipment as technologically advanced as the DSLR doesn't give me any indication that it stops recording until it's been five minutes after it stops recording and the, the lens shuts off. I bet you there's a setting that I could very easily change. If you know of a setting, please leave it in the comments. I should brush out, yeah, for the next one, we're gonna do a hook next. I'm gonna, I'm gonna brush this chenille out because it takes in, there's like some spin. I'm doing this again. Yeah. So it, it's not all flared out, it's kinda, eh. So I'll carve it. I'll trim it and then it'll stand back up here, but I wanted to trim it over here, if that makes any amount of sense. Congratulations. If it doesn't, enjoy. I do actually want to go fishing today. I'll tell you what I really liked. I think this will work. These are the ARX Universal Curved 4. I like the Gamorous. Um, I like the, the Partridge. Sea Bass. And uh, Evil was like... Evil Minnow is what it was. But they're just they're super they're super small but super stout almost um carp style
Don't rush the eye. When you're catching wire, I'll do it over here with that one. So after you bend it back, you can kind of put a, if you're having trouble getting that catch, after you bend it back, just take a couple wraps in the back here and then catch it. If you have been having trouble and you do that, you will understand what on earth I might be talking about. Try to keep that from collapsing on itself. After dozens of 30 inch brown trout and rainbows and, and probably some 40 plus inch stripers, I'm guessing musky too. Do you have musky in the Wataga? If you want there to be musky somewhere, that's where they are. That's how long it takes for my attention span to just go away. I don't know what I was talking about. Oh yeah, so that doesn't collapse. Uh, you don't need to use thick wire. This isn't, there's no pressure on this back if, if you want it, you know, there's all, all these little things add up. So as you're tying these things, just think about, you know, you if you want less weight, I actually want more weight. Generally speaking, um, I, I'm going to want this rear section to be somewhat heavier. Given the proof of concept nature of this fly, I'm I'm looking for this to be maybe w w the first of you know two. I might tie another one this morning. But definitely, so this is where I want to do the. I'm, I'm I'm going for completion points to a certain degree for the first one or two. Because sometimes, man, without without those completion points, it can feel pretty grindy to get pen to paper material to hook, whatever you want to call it. And even getting this far, where like you know, you start to see the it might be a fishable fly relatively soon. Without man, if it's just some of those days, if you're just feeling, if your brain's not going, if you're feeling, if you've had a bad, your personal life's a disaster. Sometimes, sometimes it's just not. The priority to get onto the vise and get a bug out is not there for me. I suspect for a lot of people as well. And so just getting down and getting it going can, sitting down and getting it going.
get the juices flowing. And then when you tie a piece of shit, you can look at it and say, well, now, you know, I'm all, I'm all fired up to make something perfect. Or you can tie something perfect and say, well, whew, I'm going to go out and feed this to a striper. I also trimmed too much of these. Get this stuff out from me. I like to cut with some of these stout hooks, especially with the dense materials on small flies. I like to put like a little alley in here. Because I'm not going to put any keel on this. I'm really not looking for this to ride. Whatever, I'm using I'm gonna use a bunch of deer hair. So when it's when you have something dense and you don't cut that little alley in the back, that'll bunch up here and it loses its fish profile. This bottom part gets fatter with the same relative amount of chenille because it's it gets stopped by that thick gauge hook. And in some of my earlier, you know, the first bunch of, it didn't take long. And, and a lot of the first handful of finesse changers, I was just, I was carving too much at the vise. I'm gonna try to not do that right now just so I can see what it's like out in the water because you can trim it out there. You cannot add materials out there, mostly. Short. Short and stout. The insane thoughts I have. I'm a little thread fin, short and stout. There's going to be more to that song, and I'll be singing it today.
I need, I'm gonna get new super glue. When I drop my daughter off, you heard it here first. I have many, many a wish list item. New super glue is a requirement. I think we're gonna go like two or three. Toy. This is what you get. When you learn how to process your own deer. I have a little comb attached to my table over a little garbage can attached to one of the legs. If you're spinning your deer hair or you're putting a couple wraps in for your stack and it's still spinning around, just take your fingers and mash down on the hook. And that just helps all the all the hair go with the thread towards your hook. So as you're pulling, smash. Once again, using 100 strand GSP because I want to 
use all of the stuff I have and then never buy it again. And then by the time I'm finished, I'm going to have developed some sort of perverse Stockholm Syndrome. And I'll end up getting a bunch more. No, I'm not going to. This is the last, I've been told, Semperfly 100 strand. But it's really, I don't, I don't know why I got 100 strand. I got a bunch, though. Big spin, and then I think we're going to go stack, stack. Get that guy in the bottom. Walking, 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 and cinching. We're walking, and we're cinching. That, that little wrap back around helps me to pinch. And then I'm going to bring it down close, walk, down and around, cinch. We're walking and we're cinching. really great time to either blow up your head or have that shank pop down out of your vise. So the idea here is going to be a shad floating head first head up. That eye on the shank is so not closed. So we're just gonna put a bunch of whips in there. I, I really Could use some better super glue right now.
There's no way this doesn't cause a problem. see about this it, it, if you're wondering which of course you are this whole time I'm just I'm expecting this thing to blow up or for the the whole thing to just go flying so whenever it doesn't it's pretty cool and again proof of concept we're, we're gonna we're gonna call this tide So there's, there's space for another little piece. So these guys are pretty narrow, but tall. So right now I'm just, I'm trying to get that, get to where I'm seeing the chenille.
So I'm sort of already starting to to think about the next one and I'm wanting to probably do a dubbing loop of crystal hair something with a little more flare a, a synthetic with a little more flare quality to it um, to press up on that deer hair or yeah I, I mean I, th I think that is that is a definite and then probably on that first that first spin go a little tighter or, or put another another pinch or so Cool beans. How about some of this?
How about some of that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. Not gonna lie, the fact that Flyman has advertised the crease fly, which is someone that is a fly tires invention as their own product. Um, it's kind of tough because they, you know, putting out stuff from Blaine and I just, I like the idea of supporting someone who has done what I'm trying to do successfully. But it, it's... It's hard for me to rationalize continuing to buy products from Flyman when they when they pull a move like that. It's not cool. So my my first step there is when I'm when I got new eyes, just going with the fly tire fly tires dungeon. They're also cheaper. Oh goodness. We made it. We made it off. Proof of concept, Ellis. It's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect.
just not going to work for me. So what is it? Why are you fitting on one side and not on the other? That'll do. This last couple cuts, those are going to do it. Kind of funny looking right now, but I have faith. Some pre seven AM bone dry fumes.
focus. <laughs> We shall see. Two and a half inches. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is gonna get fucking ruined. <laughs> I say that about every single fly. Or I call it complete trash and end up throwing it out, cutting up the pieces and then retying on the shanks. I'll probably do some like, I'll see you on the water or some fucking dope B-roll right here of, wow, left hand, wow. That's a hook set. But if I don't, have fun out there. Yeah. Uh.